Recent news is making the general public panic. Many people are running out to purchase firearms, and many of these people have never used a gun before. As American citizens, we reserve the right to bear arms. This means that any decent law-abiding citizen who wants a gun can purchase one, unless they have a felony history or if they are mentally incompetent. According to Andrew Lyons, a staff writer for the Daytona Beach News Journal, one week after terrorist attacks on September 11th, the state of Florida received over 40,000 applications for concealed weapons permits. According to the FBI's most recent statistics, concealed weapons permits have routinely risen in Florida, while applications for firearm transfers or permits increased 3% from 7.7 .7 million in 2000 to 8 million in 2001. The NRA has a record high membership of 4 million. Perhaps this is because we have a president who looks favorably at owning firearms. Cease fire! Cease fire! I load all weapons. Open all bolts, action cylinders. Bench all weapons, step clear. After the, line. the sniper attacks in Washington, as morbid as it may sound, gun dealers experience an increase in sales of firearms, including the Bushmaster AR-15 assault rifles like the one that was used in the attacks. With all these people running out to buy guns, how many of them are familiar with the proper safety and handling procedures? Okay, with us now is Art Grachev. We're live here at the uh, Strickland Shooting Range. Art, I, I wanted to ask you, by any chance, do you possess a concealed weapons permit? No. No? Do you believe that the state of Florida has pro the proper safe handling procedures? Well, I really don't know. Uh, as far as uh, training for, uh, for the firearms? Yeah. I don't know. I just... Actually, I just bought a gun, and that's my first uh, time on the shooting range. So. But I think, it, you know, this this particular range is okay. Do you believe that your right to bear arms is being threatened or possibly infringed upon? Yeah, definitely. You can have firearms, but. Uh, it's very difficult to use them. You have to keep them unloaded all the time in a safe, basically, if you need them uh, in emergency. It's almost impossible to use them right away, especially if you have kids at home. It's, uh, you know, you can't really uh, just put it anywhere. You have to put it in a safe, and it takes time to open the safe, and if, you know, if somebody breaks into my house. Okay, all right. Thank you, Art. I appreciate your help. No problem. All right. If you have any guns in your house and you have children, make sure you keep the guns in a safe place, or preferably in a safe that only you know the combination to. If you're planning on buying a gun, make sure you study and memorize all the proper safety and handling procedures. Always keep your gun in a safe place, and always leave it unloaded until you're ready to use it. When people take possession of firearms, they assume a great deal of responsibilities. Drugs, guns, and alcohol don't mix. In Florida, we have a strict policy against the illegal use of firearms. It's called the 1020 Life Law. If you pull a gun with the intent to commit a crime, the minimum sentence for first offense is 10 years. If you fire a gun for any other purpose than target practice, hunting, or self-defense, then you could go to jail for 20 years or for the rest of your natural life. Many people live happy lives, and they never even have to buy a gun. Therefore, even though I support the right to bear arms, I don't recommend it for everyone. Thank you.